Hello my guys, welcome to another episode, new installation for the 2019 Route 4. Shout out to Cartoon Home, I got this from them. This is going to be the control switch on all the doors with lighting. You guys know the Route 4, they don't have any lighting on the control panel on the doors. So we have the whole lineup of controls. Let me plug it in first and let's see how they light up. Same thing, no issues. Looks like everything works as normal. I'm gonna put it back in here. Get everything secure and put it on the car. I already did the episode before on the driver's side. That's the only one that I gave before. And if you want to know, it's only one, two, three screws. Remove this part and put the new one on it. Everything looks the same. I'm going to put this one back on and then move to the other doors. One connection in here. The other one in the front. Okay. Same lighting. Looks like everything works. Now let's move to the other doors. Same thing for this door. This is the rear driver's side. Right on this side. Pull it back because it has a little hook on the front. Just pull it back. Disconnected. And now we have some clips that you gotta push on to remove this part. Okay, guys, I hope you can see in there lighting is not really good. The easiest way to remove these controls on the other doors. I put my screwdriver here inside. I lifted a little bit the plastic, I push it up so I can release it from the two little hooks in here. Same thing on the front. On this front part, it has a little hook in there. I just put my screwdriver inside and release it. Super easy. Now let's check on the new controls. They came with their adapter. This is the new one. Same process, same thing. I'm gonna put it back on it. Push it down to lock in place on both ends. And that's the new one. That's the old one. That's the new one, quality wise, it looks the same. But let's put the new one with the new wire harness. This one goes right here and the new one connected to the original one. Just do the connection in here. And that's all you need to do. Put it back on. Okay, let me turn on the light to see if it works. This one didn't work like that. I'm gonna turn on the key on the ignition to see if it works like that. With the key on the ignition, it start working. Okay, the automatic works up and down. This is the passenger rear. Same process as before. You 
you have to have the key in the ignition for the other ones. Now, let me try on the passenger side front and let's see if that one do the same as these ones. And one thing to mention, I have new wire harness for these switches, plus I have wire harness for these uh, door handle lights and everything works fine. Okay, on this one, you're gonna have, these ones don't light up anyways. I'm gonna have to remove only this one. Same process. Harness. Yep. No lighting. Key needs to be in the ignition. There you go. We got lights on all the doors now. So, did you check the episode where I did this installation? I love these lights, especially when you're braking. The whole bag light up with those new lights. Check out the episode. I'll put it right here. Thanks to Car Dream Home as well. Okay, my RAV4 is on. Look at that lighting. And that's the passenger side front. This is the driver's side rear. And that's the passenger rear. Let me, now let me try all the window switches and see if everything works. What I like about this uh, RAV4 is the it goes automatic up and down. Really, really like that. Lock, unlock. That's all I have for this episode, guys. Everything works fine. I'm super happy with this new control with light for all my doors. Also, I want to show you something. A lot of people have been asking me why I have PSI. Some people, they already did the installation and, and they have KPA. And what I can tell you is it depends on your uh, RAV4. I don't know where it's coming from. But uh, some people told me that they have KPA. Really don't know how to answer that. I just did the connection and I came out with PSI. But if you want to see that episode, I'm going to put it right here as well. Shout out to Cartoon Home for that one too. I can read my tire pressure from here. As you can see. Okay guys, i leave you with that. I hope you like this little episode. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm going to be happy to help. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace. Mm.